Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Sounds of Philly Radio and a very special broadcast of our entire gang of the greatest lineup of DJs on the planet. We're coming to you live from the beautiful studios of the Sounds of Philly. I'm your host, Luke Costello, the man himself, Philly's favorite DJ, and of course, also your program director. And sitting to my immediate right, my co-host this evening, the one, the only, great recording artist from South Philadelphia, Mr. Billy Carlu Carlucci. Hello, Mr. Costello. How are you doing? A long, long time. You got started as a disc jockey approximately when? Uh, in the late, early 60s, I would say. Uh, when I started when I was about 12 years old. Another one. So mm -hmm. Probably 13. Right. Yeah, I started at the Jewish Y. That's where I, I Bunny's brothers and all were there. I used to do record hops upstairs on the roof. And from one thing led into another. We were on the radio from 67. Yeah, from 67 on WCAM on Sunday That was Christmas. your first shot. Yes. I apologize. Anyway, when did you you got involved as as obviously a lady disc jockey, a radio disc jockey? When did your so-called career begin? As far as being a DJ, I'll say about a good three or four years now, I believe it is on Destination Duo. Okay. Is where I started. Okay. And I started that actually by um, I did a favor for the, for the family of the uh, of the website. There's a couple of guys who were leaving or whatever you and what have you. And, and King Arthur always told me, you know so much music, you gotta get into it. You got and I am really having a good time because I do know my music. Right. You know, and I and I love the uh, I love the and uh, a lot of the street. He's a thoroughbred man, you know. Yeah. And uh, and sounds of Philly Radio is really coming up strong. You know? This what's happening, much like the sounds of Philly Radio.com, the audience every day continues to grow exponentially. It is amazing. There are still people calling me that say, we just found your radio station. And now they're doing the same thing with SoundsAffiliateRadio.com. It's absolutely amazing how this audience, Lance has got some numbers that will bother your mind of how large this audience has become in less than a year and continues to grow in leaps and bounds. And it's because we have people like you, mm -hmm. like you, like Billy Carlucci. You're about to meet some more people. Can they hear you? Okay, you can hear the Queen of Duop every morning from 9 to 11, and I believe Wednesday evening uh, from 9 to 11, only on Wednesday. Cool. Like every day. Right. And, and I'm from 11 to 1 o'clock live, it's brunch with the King, and then on Fridays, I come back and we do it from 6 to 10 all over again, live at soundsofphillyradio.com, and Sunday nights, when I'm dancing with you, I'm pre-recorded on Sounds of Philly Radio, <laughs> From six to nine o'clock, Look over there, let them see your model. That's the king oh. and the queen. Oh. <laughs> Tell the audience when they can find you on Sounds of Philly Radio. Uh, you can find me on Tuesday evening, 7 to midnight, where we try to keep it up tight, out of sight. We put down that pound of sound, six foot down. I'll tell you what, that is deeper than my dead dog Skippy. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Look at this guy. Woo, Ollie Hackett. How are you, man? I'm good, my brother. Still trying to catch up with you. I don't have a pair of those yellow shoes yet. You I'll get you a pair. That's not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't a pro I'll get you a pair of yellow shoes. Yellow ain't a problem, brother. I think blue's got every problem. You know about your clothes from Cross Brothers? That's right. That's right. What a nice guy. Though. He's the guy that did away with lapels. Remember, that was his claim to fame. Took, right. the, took the lapels off the suit. Yeah, I bought him. Well, he used to come out of the casket on that commercial. Yeah, I'll tell you how I curtail that. Very easy. Are you Holly Hackett? Do I owe you any money? <laughs> Takes care of that right there. Takes care of the whole thing. All right, let's go, everybody. This is King Arthur, and I'm. Well, we got two uh, of our. Famous uh, DJs that they got a nice dance show going on, dancing and romancing with Bunny and Lance. They're here right now with us, and uh, Lance, of course, takes care of making sure the station runs right, and Bunny keeps them in line. So, welcome. I tried. I like what we say. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Get that line. That's, that's a killer line, Bonnie. <laughs> Listen, it, it's, it's an honor to, to share this table with you. Um, years ago, I grew up with your brothers, uh, Billy and Peter, God rest their souls, and uh, your sister, Kathy, and everybody. And such a small world how we met that one day over at uh, the True uh, CD release, and we started talking, one thing led into another, and here, boom, here's. Only Ruben. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I think the names. I think that's why this music is alive. It's going to keep on keeping on. I wanted to ask you, how did you um, 
the choice of music. Did back in the in the sixties and seventies, you used to go a lot of clubbing and, and, and out dancing and all. Well, dancing was my spot in the fifties. Okay. Uh, yeah. You don't look that old, Doc. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, Lid's going for his gun. We're, we're not going any further with this one. No. Yeah. Well, we 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 got together in a club here in Atlantic City, and we oh. were dancing to this music. But you weren't a pretty boy. Yeah, well, fancy. fancy boy. Oh, fancy boy. Yeah, yeah. Fancy I was from Winfield, yeah. so I was okay. known as a fancy boy. Uh -huh. But that's how we got together, and we started dancing, and then we started romancing. Right. And that's how, that was a great, uh, the way you guys do it on the show, I really enjoy it. And uh, all those cute little lines you lay on everybody, man. I mean, the show could be heard right after Ken, right in the afternoon. That's well, we're not. We're right. We're right after Frankie Day. Right, right, right. We right. yeah. from forty-five. Yeah, yeah. We're, we come on every day, Monday through Thursday, at five p.m. And now we're also can be heard in the great state of uh, Delaware in marvelous Millsboro on WRBG one hundred seven point nine. And that's on Sunday evening at 8 o'clock. And it's Dance and Romance with Bunny and Lance. Like what we say and love what we do. Oh, men do have a show. Yeah, well, you do on the Sounds of Philly Radio dot com. Absolutely right. Absolutely. So for those of you that are watching us, this is Dennis Burke, one of our greatest jockeys. Sounds of Philly Radio dot com. Tell them when you're on, Dan. Oh, on Monday night, on my, my, my Monday night show from 11 to 1. There you go. And then I believe on Sunday. Sunday night with the uh, Memory Lane show. There you go. From 9 to 11. The pet name for him is the Desert Island. That's the one I gave my son. That's exactly right. Not then, when it, well, I don't care what goes wrong from a production point of view, getting us on the air, making things sound right, whatever the case may be. Even, even the time when they stole my microphone and we had to go on the air in 10 minutes and Dennis said, it's not a problem. And he whips out a new microphone. What is proud? What can I say? It's Frankie Day. Hey, Frankie Day in the night. Hey, I'm Cannonball. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good. My man, Frankie Day. Boy, I get phone calls from from your gang in Pittsburgh, and do they love you? Well, I want to thank all the listeners out there because when you're listening to this special show, the Sounds of Philly Radio dot com, where we're definitely keeping the music alive and playing all the sounds from the '50s, '60s, and '70s. How can you go wrong? We make you happy and we bring back the memories that no one else can do, especially with the greatest music ever recorded. What a crew of disc jockeys we have. We're all in love right here with the music. Most of all, hey, we have take pride in what we do right here, and especially all of us. We uh, all have our special thing that we enjoy doing. King Arthur, I want to thank you for doing all the things that you do along with the, the Queen of Doo Wop and uh, in keeping the music alive and uh, it's my pleasure if the listening audience was in the studio right now they would feel all the love on all four walls of how we feel about keeping the music alive i'm loving it i'm loving every <laughs> he's over there like i'm loving every second of it I'm believe me i'm telling you brother <laughs> you rock pittsburgh man i I'm gotta tell you that you're rocking pittsburgh well that's good and i love doing this and right along with all of us right here on the signs of philly radio.com everyone right here frankie day wants to say i thank you from the bottom of my heart for being part of you guys i'm loving you brother guaranteed hey cannonball i'm loving you brother <laughs> there it is, the Cannonball and Frankie Day all right. together again, batting down the hatches. Good night. We can all say good night. All good right. night from the studios at soundsoffillyradio.com. And let's thank our guest, Billy Carlucci, Dennis Burke, Bunny and Lance, the stretch man, the king, the queen, and what can I say? Ollie, Ollie Hackett. Frankie Day and Ollie Hackett. Absolutely. All right. With you. And this is good night from your program director, Lucas Stello, on soundsoffillyradio.com. That's a wrap.